18-year-old Angie Dodge moved into her first apartment in Idaho Falls in late 1996, but was later found beaten, raped, and with her throat slit so severely it nearly decapitated her. 1997, Christopher Tapp confessed to killing Dodge. However, his confession only came after being coerced by police, who implied he would face a death penalty if he didn't fess up to the crime. Even though Tapp's DNA didn't match the collected ones from the scene, and he later retracted his confession due to the circumstances, he spent 20 years behind bars for a crime he never committed. Even with the conviction, Dodge's case was still considered a cold case because the actual killer had never been found. Dodge's mother, Carol, spent the next two decades refusing to give up on finding who killed her daughter. An exonerating tap. Finally, in 2017, through efforts of both Carol and the Innocent Project, Tap was released. 2019, investigators began searching public genealogy databases and worked alongside genetic genealogist C.C. Moore at Parabon Laboratories, who was able to create a family tree based on the DNA collected. Through the process, they were able to locate a suspect, Brian Drips, who lived across the street from Angie when she was murdered. He was also initially questioned during the investigation. Police began following trips and collected cigarette butts as he carelessly discarded them. Once they had several samples, those were sent in for testing and were confirmed to match a D, uh, to the DNA that they found at Dodge. Drip was arrested and confessed, stating he was under the influence of drugs at the time and never meant to kill Dodge. He was sentenced to life in prison in June 8, 2021. 